Hello and welcome to my channel, Distinctive Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. Alright everyone, so today I am wearing my front and center poncho and this is a tutorial that I have here on my channel so I will go ahead and link that down below. But um, I am coming to you all to talk about what you see on my mannequin back there. <laughs> so this item... Um, I have been working on for quite a while I started it back in November of 2022 and I just finished uh, today is February 20th 2023 <laughs> so I just finished it and I'm very excited to share it with you all um, this video may not come out for a little while though because I am sending it off to someone so I want them to have it first before I share it here on the channel but I did want to go ahead and make a quick video before sending it off. All right, so this is a knit poncho and it's called the Pisti Poncho by Estefania Espindola. <laughs> Hopefully I got that right. So it is a pattern found uh, on Interweave. It's, uh, I'm not for sure exactly uh, what magazine it's in, but I will link if I can find the pattern, I will link it down below. Uh, it might be available on Ravelry, so I'm not for sure. But I will at least link the interweave um, link down below where you can find it there. Uh, it was it was nice to work on. I was a little intimidated first of the pattern, so I did take a little while to get it started because I was supposed to have it finished back in the fall, but. <laughs> I got just a little bit intimidated. I I don't want to say scared or fearful because I think that we can do anything that we put our minds to. So it's just about maybe taking our time with it and maybe it's not the quickest project we ever complete and maybe we have to read the directions over and over again, but we can do it. <laughs> so I was slightly intimidated at first, but once I finally got it started, uh, that's all I needed to do was just really take my time and make sure I was paying attention to what the directions were saying and what I was doing and uh, once the setup was started and I got into like the middle of the pattern uh, the you know it was pretty easy it was actually uh, an easy pattern to do once you get the hang of it <laughs> But it does take some, it does require uh, you to pay attention to what you're doing. And um, yeah, but the stitches are, you know, pretty, pretty easy. So let me go ahead and show you all. Now these are uh, working snaps, but they are a little bit harder to snap and unsnap. So I'm not going to do that. But they are working snaps. And this is um, sort of like a zigzag cable. And on the band here, we have some seed stitch. And then, uh, let me see if I can hold this up. So you can see uh, this um, this right here is actually some ribbing, one by one ribbing. And then some C-stitch over here on the end. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it around because the back has a beautiful uh, lace cable. So just give me one second while I turn that around. Alright, so as you can see, it has this uh, beautiful cable down the back and then the zigzag um, cable down either side of the center cable. And uh, I think it is very, very beautiful and I am super excited that I tried this out and I got some more experience under my belt. And that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> so, yep, that's... Um, pretty much all I have to say about that and just let me know what you guys think of uh, my item here and remember to give this video a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all in the next one thanks for watching